Hello, my name's Trisha Tierney and I'm the current chair of the Friends of the Whitworth. I want to talk about the first minutes book of the Friends of the Whitworth Institute, as the gallery was then called. The book starts with the founding of the Friends in Sir Thomas Barlow's house in November uh, 1933 and covers the period up until the Second World War. It lists the members um, every year for, the, for that period, uh, including uh, the Pilkingtons, who are very prominent amongst the membership, and we'll be talking more about them later. It also gives some details about the subscriptions raised. Uh, for instance, in the first year, the sum total was £115, so not a, a vast amount, but perhaps more interesting than that is the, the, the works donated by these members to the gallery. Uh, this include, these include works by Alexander Cousins, many of which appeared in the Cousins and Cousins exhibition, which we saw on the gallery walls, um, and, but also Pablo Picasso, Constable, uh, Toulouse-Lautrec, and many others. So it's quite a collection that the uh, friends started to collect then, and we've gone on helping the gallery to acquire over a thousand works during the time that the Friends of the Whitworth has been in, in existence. The, it seems from the, from the uh, minutes book that the Friends only met once a year, so we're not able to gather from it a very detailed picture of what their activities looked like. I'm gathering that they didn't have a Tuesday team beavering away in the gallery every week, putting together a programme of events. But the uh, 1936 minutes do tell us that the Friends have been granted the privilege of coming into the gallery on Sunday afternoons in winter on presentation of their membership cards, and they were very pleased with that um, new development. Then in the 1939 minutes, rather sadly, just before, just as the war started to take effect, they record that it would be very nice to be able to organise uh, visits to houses and other places of interest and to put on concerts in the gallery. Uh, and of course this never came about because the war then became much more um, a feature of life and, and took over life, um, certainly in Manchester. Uh, so when we now organise our programmes and and hold our Sunday concerts, I like to think that what we're doing is fulfilling the dreams of the original Friends of the Whitworth 